Welcome back to another Geek Watch video, and I'm going to be addressing a, a question that some of you may think is uncommon, but it's actually very, very common in my emails, in my Twitter inbox, in my Facebook, in my Google Plus even, my YouTube comments, is do I need to buy an i7 for gaming? And the obvious quick sort of quick answer would be no. You don't need an i7 for gaming. Technically, you can game on an Intel Pentium or an Intel Atom if you wanted to, but what would I recommend? What Intel processor anyway would I recommend for gaming? I'd recommend something around the i5 mark um, on the on the latest uh, architecture, the latest generation. Uh, so you can either go for something like uh, the higher end 4690K or the 4590, somewhere around that mark. But where the i7 ties in is is people think that you will create a bottleneck if you go for anything less than an i7, and and with everything there is a case where you may create a bottleneck somewhere. But the chances are, if you spend an i7 sort of money on a gaming PC, you're going to be spending you're going to be spending money on something like a 980 or a 980 Ti or an R9 290 or 390X, for example. But i7s do tie in very well for gaming because the chances are a lot of serious gamers, a lot of people that do game a lot, are going to want to record and edit gameplay. And if that's the thing that you're into, if that's your sort of thing, then an i7 can be very, very beneficial to you. And you would be surprised how small the price difference is between an i5 and an i7. There's a, between $80 and $120. And whilst that may seem like a lot, for the performance that you gain, that is a very remarkably small price difference. So do you need an i7 for gaming? No. Do I recommend it for just gaming? No. But do I recommend i7s overall? Yes, that doesn't mean go and shove an i7 in your $400 gaming PC build, but if you are going to spend $1,500 on a gaming PC build, or anything above sort of $1,200, $1,300 on a gaming PC build, do consider an i7 and do look at the options and the performance and price difference.